Bye, everybody in the cemetery. Rest in peace. God. Cupboard. Oh, there's no cupboard in the cemetery. I don't know why Ghost Tube app, you've got this new word about cupboard, cupboard, cupboard. Especially when we're in a cemetery. How do I use it? Like you are. There, you can talk to us through it. Do not. Can I, don't move for a minute. Why can't I talk to you through it? I'm not being disrespectful or, or bad. I'm just trying to give you people a voice so you can speak to us. False. What's false? Mm, are we speaking to Eric already? Hello, trapped. Well, if you're in a, um... <laughs> in a, um... Well, you wouldn't... If that's Eric, you wouldn't be in a, um... A coffin trapped. Well, he's below. Yeah, well, that's true. Uh-huh. Well, it was sad that Bon Scott couldn't say anything. Mm -hmm. But maybe he's just not there today. He's maybe with family. Oh, you can hope. Oh, well, I thought they were close together. It's not at all. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. cemetery at night is there anybody that would like to speak to us here radio was it there no I believe it's over here apparently it's supposed to be pretty scary in a cemetery at night going to his grave site at night and tore his killer. <laughs> can I just ask you if you can please just stop and start this video because I've got such a tiny screen I can't see anything. Yep. Right, I'll do that. Oh, here we are. Good evening, Eric. And who's he with? Undecided. Someone's left flowers there. Yep. Oh. <sighs> Eric, are you with us? Did you just sigh? No. Well, there was a breath there. Eric, Albert. You... We've come to visit you at night. We're not chicken. Have you got anything you'd like to say to us? Hey? I can find Mark to move Maz. Why? The car gone past. Dining. Gone past? Call 
Christian. Who's Christian? Christian as in religion or Christian as in name? Have you got anything you'd like to say to me? Do you know who I am? We used to talk to you at the doctor's surgery and in Thomas Street, didn't we? Did you used to visit there because you wanted to rob there? Okay, I'm going to throw this way. Oh. I've got the iPad going as well. Okay, it's just because you're moving around so much, it's blurry. Sorry. Have you got anything you want to say to us, you two? Your dad's going to have to remind me, what's her name again? Martha. Martha. Canada. What was that? Canada. Would you like to say anything to us, Martha? Who brought you flowers as well? Yeah. How come all the spirits are quiet tonight? <laughs> they're normally chatty in the daytime and they're quiet at night time. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. Grave. Yeah, we're at the grave. Yeah, that's correct. And for anyone that's uh, trying to debunk the ghost tube app, the particular phone that's being used is actually not connected to the internet. So it can't um, cross-reference scenarios, locations to an outside source. It'd have to be all on, on the, um, the database on the app and that would take up a lot of room. So the fact that it's just come up with Grave is actually, well... It's a miracle, so if you don't James. believe in it, then, you know, you're fooled because it's very accurate. James, were Hello, you one Eric. of the victims of Eric? Who was that? James. Oh, James. Mm. Come on, Eric, let us know you're with us. You know what you normally say to us? Every time we walked in the doctor's surgery, you'd go disfigured in that, wouldn't you? And we're a long way from home, so we've come down here to speak to you. So what are you going to say to us? Or we're going to go and not talk to you at all? Martha, Martha, I learned some things about you too. Dining. Inside. Mm, well, dining. Choked. Oh, Bite. So why are you going to bite us? He probably choked and bit his victims. Yeah. Was well, that what you did, Martha, to the kids? Yeah, well, she just said dining. Yeah, well, she was... She was um, poison them by when they were eating. She basically gave them, I think it was, um, what do you call it? What's that acid? Sulfuric acid. Is that the one? Yeah, so I think so. The throat's burnt. Those poor children. And Eric, what you did to your poor victims too. You made people scared. Does that make you proud? We've got two ghost tube apps here going. Why aren't you speaking on the other one?
You know, I... 47. And 47 more. Is there 47 ghosts here, is there? Probably 47 victims of Eric. You know, Eric and Martha, I'm not here to disrespect you in any way. But we'd like to learn a bit about you both. So could you take, could you tell us some stuff about... Are you life? okay? Yes. Yeah, are you? Could you tell me something? Are you happy now you're over there? Or are you sad because you were the last people hung? And had your lives taken like you took lives of others? How do you feel? I mean, how do you feel, Eric, knowing that people had to put locks on their doors because they were afraid of you? And you had a lovely wife and kids at home. Are you with your wife and son now? He might be with his wife, but I don't know. Behind you. Son. You are behind us, are you? Where? Well, can you show yourself? Or if there's any spirits here that would like to show yourself, we'd like to see you. And please feel free to touch Peter. We're here, we'll speak to anybody that would like to be spoken to. But can I ask, do you both regret what you did? Are you sorry? Front. Now in the front. Is that what it's saying? Yeah. Are you in front of us? Can you show me where? Or tell us where? Can you just move around that? Can you see anyone in front of you? It said, it's weird how it said behind and in front. All right. Does it feel spooky there, Dan? Not really. I'm coming. And who's coming? Can you tell me why in Thomas Street you said the things you said to us to make us look in to find inside. out about you? Yeah, you were inside there. And we didn't even know you exist till then. I can't believe at night it's so quiet. Where am I? Oh, God. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, and you're probably in the ground. Oh, I don't say that. <laughs> and who, who would like to speak to us? So we've got two apps going, and one's got a different voice to the other one, so one could use one. Another room. The other one. Well, we're not in a room, we're in the cemetery. And to any other of the beautiful spirits that are around us, my name's Sharon and this is Peter. Could you tell me who you might be? 
Something keeps sending the camera out of focus. Are you messing with the phones, Eric? Why is money you come and speak on the iPad? I mean, where have they got stage fright? Because you've got so many devices there. We forgot to take the K2 meter with us. I've got no hands. Uh-huh. Could have just put it on the floor there. Yeah, I guess I could have done. I guess you don't have it in the car, do you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Another room. Okay, let's go and take a small walk. Uh-oh. Danger. Uh, why are we in danger? I'm not putting you in danger, am I? I've only come to talk to you and, and I guess you want to say pay respect. I mean, Don't Eric, I'm giving you and Martha a chance to speak and tell the world if you're sorry or, you know, how you feel today. I'm actually not here to even be nasty. You were known as the Netherlands monster. Do you understand why that was? Recording, so we'll stop recording. Well, we won't stop. Recording. Open. Hello, everybody. It's in these beautiful graves. Can you just stop the ghost tube out for a second? All right, we're recording back on that one. Okay. Yeah, hang on. That's on the K2 meters coming off. Probably because everything's around it. So you just put the K2 meter on the floor so you don't have to hold it. Mother. Or lay it on the grave. Oh, is there um, a mother with us? Oh, we're back. Okay, Eric and Martha, we've put the K2 meter there. Can you make it move for us? And we're nowhere near it, so therefore nothing can interact. Oh, thank you very much. Hiding. Oh, why are you hiding? Locked. Oh, that bloody locket again. Did you steal a locket, Eric? Because when we were in the glass house, he kept talking about that. Can I ask you again if you can keep our meter moving for us? To let us know you're with us. If you don't want to talk to us, if you could at least just do that for us to let us know you're here. Can you hit the red light? Well, whoever's doing that, if that's Eric or Martha, thank you. We're about two and a half feet away from it. Okay, can you just turn around more? That's out of view. I don't know if you've got it. I don't know, I can't see what right. you can see. Okay, right there, but right, okay, it's there. Ceremony. Yeah, you had a ceremony, did you? Okay, look at that. Now, this goes to show that, look, it's down. Eric, can I ask you, can you please make the meter move again, or Martha? Just to let us know you're with us. Well, thank you. Oh, you did too. Look at that. Are you able to talk to us today? Can I ask you again just to prove that you're with us? Can you make the meter move again? Uh, Ivy just comes through the doggy door if there's a noise. Eric, could you make the meter move again for me, please? Or is it Martha? Or Martha, yes.
If you've got the energy. What do you want? We're trying to talk to you. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Whoever's making the K2 me me to oh, making the K2 me to work. Slam. Oh, what are you going to slam? Is it okay that we come and talk with me? Brave? We are talking to you. Come on, you're only getting to the orange, the yellow. Can you get to the red? Well, thank you for at least making it move. If you both work on it, you might be able to work together and do it. Yeah. Could you tell us something to let us know that you're here? You have communicated with us many and many a time. Well, thank you for making the K2 meter go. Still not hitting that red yet. You're a bit weak. Yeah, I mean, that could be the reason why they're not communicating. I mean, by the looks of it, there's flowers. Um, and whether, you know, the fact that we've put up a lot on social media, so whether people have come and visited and things like that, and their energy's worn out, or maybe because it's Lord. Sunday. Mm. The Lord protects everybody. Except for these two. <laughs> and, you know, at the end of the day, maybe is it Sunday and there's been a lot of visitors? Yeah, it could be that. Like, well, but wouldn't you they be were jealous? calling. Sorry? Wouldn't they be jealous? Yeah. And you were calling us over there before when we were seeing Bon Scott. Well, you're not very chatty, but can I at least ask you if you can tell me who I am? Or who I am? Yeah, exactly. I'm or, trying. Or who well, thank are you? you. Well, you just said I'm trying, so you just used up the energy to say you're trying rather than say it. Or are you trying to get that red light? Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. I didn't think you had trouble getting it up, Eric. <laughs> Apparently you're a womanizer. If you could just say something to let us know that you're with us as well. Or if you can get that meter up to the red, that would be great. You can see you're moving it there. Still two and a half feet away. Yeah, well, it said he's trying. Are you around all these lovely people? George. What year is it? Closet. 2023. Clown. Oh, here we go. Well, Was he's not a clown. Wasn't one of his nicknames a clown? Oh? Wasn't one of his nicknames a clown? Hmm. I don't know if it was when he was at school or something. He got nicknamed it, I'm sure. Okay. Well, name calling's not nice. Even if he's a notorious killer, it's not nice to name call. But anyway... Is it, Eric, just not nice to be put down or anything? I said no. You said no to what? What did you say no to? I would like to talk to you. 
Can you tell us to step away? <laughs> Stop, Dad. Well, you don't know who's been on the case of uh, following and the trial of sniffing Eric's butt. Well, yes, we do have a few copycats. I mean, the bottom line is, if the sisters do come and see you, Eric, don't talk to them. <laughs> Stop now. I mean, we said that in the, the, the gothic house and you guys, well, I think you were there too, Eric. Ruth. <gasps> Stop. Don't do it. Don't bad mouth. Ooh. You're trying. Thank you. As I said to you in the past, we've got to be careful about firing up too many questions. Yeah. We've got to give them a chance to answer or chance to do things. So, as we can see, we asked a while ago and Eric's obviously trying to get there. Or master the K2 meter up for us. Granddaughter. True. Oh, we're getting up there. Yeah. Oh. 49. Okay. Lewis. Jordan. Four, Lady. Four, 49 again. Did you have 49 victims, Eric? Well, it was 47. Thank you very much. Wow, look at the K2 meter. Isn't that pretty? Thank you. We just need a red one now. Yeah, thank you so much, Eric. You've got to let everyone know that you're living after, after your death. We just hit the red. Wow. And there's no interference because as everybody can see, if I can just ask you, Peter, to prove so there's no just thing. Can you walk behind to show there's nothing behind and to the sides of the K2 meter? So you can show that there's nothing, no interaction. 49. Yeah. 49 again. Go. 49. Was there 49? Big? Thank you, Eric. Eric, can you make that still move for us? Or Martha? Well, thank you so much. You know, at the same time, as I say, that these are two notorious people did terrible things to others. I'm not here to disrespect either one of you. And I thank you for showing the world that you can communicate with us. Just look at the K2 meter now. Can you, can I ask Lady. you, can you do one more time for us, please? Are you on the other, on the iPad, Martha? You got a deep voice. Walter. Oh, okay. We know about Walter, don't we, Gary? Did you know Walter? Or is it Martha? Mm. Well, Martha, yeah. Not. It's not Martha. Who is it then? There goes the K2 again. Thank you so much. Can yeah. you tell me, do you like being here? Silla. I guess being in the grave is like being in the cellar. Yeah. Who's using the iPad to communicate? What's your name? You know, the, the sad thing is, Peter, because we're in a cemetery, you've got all the other spirits around you as well. Well, I know that. So we could be communicating with anybody, but anybody can feel free to communicate with us. Just because we're here standing in front of Eric and Martha's grave, if there's anybody else around that would like to speak or communicate, if you'd like to show yourself or to touch Peter, or to get our K2 meter working, that would be great. But you need to tell us what your name is because we don't want to get confused between these two. Peter. 
34. Maybe we were talking about Martha's bus. Was she a big breasted lady? <laughs> what should I do? Talk to us. Or what would you like to do? Instead of us telling you what to do, what would you like to do? I would like you to, you to get our K2 meter going. I would like you to show yourself. Even make a noise. Talk to us. Do you know it's our first time ever at night time in a graveyard? Sun. <laughs> Is that what I heard it say? Fun? Sun. Fun. Fun. Is that what it said? Yeah. <laughs> is it fun? Well, you know, it is fun to be when you like hunting ghosts in a graveyard. I guess everybody that likes doing paranormal likes a graveyard. But on the other hand, it's a very sad place. Hammer. Yeah, you use a hammer. Wow. So it's three degrees colder than it was. Wow. Eric, where you're making a response there, can you do our K2 meter just above you? Eric, did you use Seance. No seance. Find me. Well, who? Who do we have to find? You're keeping up that K2 meter there. Leave it. Who are you telling leave to what? leave? You're telling us to leave it or are you telling Eric to leave it? Eric, you've yet said the hammer in that. Is there anything else you can say to us? Watching. You're watching, are you? Oh, that's good. Because we're watching you too. But so thank you for letting us know. We got two ghost tube apps going. Keep going. Use this one as well a bit more, and then, then we can put this with the other one, and it'll show you being real. And I think Are you a friend? No, I'm not a friend. But we're also not an enemy either. Are you a friend? Look, you said not a friend and it's Dr. K2 meter now. Eric, can you please make that go again for us? Can I ask you to do it? I told you you can't get it up. <laughs> How weird when you said not a friend, it just died. Anybody else want to come and say hello? Somebody else show yeah, Eric how to get it up. <laughs> Eric, if you could just make that move for us again, if possible. Thank you. You're more polite than I am. Who? You. Because you don't, even if he is a notorious killer and that, you don't disrespect the dead. I have a different way of ghost hunting and it's never about disrespect and you know that. No matter who they are. And I, and I will say, because of, I don't want anything from the public saying I've been nice or whatever, but in the same sense, I don't respect anything that the pair of these two have done. If I 
but you're also going and you're asking them to do something. If you're going to be nasty, well, why should they bother? Well, they're not bothering. <laughs> Eric, I'm being decent to you. And Mum. Andrew. Could you... Father. Could... I know you're a father. Could you make the K2 move for me, please? Do not. Do not walk. Well, thank you for doing that. Is it easier for you to communicate by lighting up the K2 than talking tonight? And can I ask you a question, Eric? Did you like scary Nedlands or Perth, if you want to put it that way? Could you answer me yes or no? You can move the lights for yes or you can not move the lights for no, if that's easier. Yeah. try that so if you move the lights it's yes and if you don't it's no do you understand that so if you can move the lights if you like terrorizing Perth and not if you didn't so I didn't like terrorizing Perth oh wow Are you lying? Can I, can I ask you, Eric? Did you? Are you okay? Confused. Oh, you're confused. Sorry. Can I ask you? Did you do it to support your family? If no, don't move it. And yes, if you did. So you did it just because you wanted to. So you did want to terrorise Perth. True. Oh. <laughs> Keep recording. We are. Are you going to show yourself? Poke. You're going to poke, okay. Are you going to poke Peter? Where are you going to poke him? We should be able to work that K2 meter anyway because that pole or post or display banner thing goes straight into the ground. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for what? Well, I hope that was just a bug what I saw. Yeah, I think so. No, it was down on the ground. Yeah, it's that up high. Oh, okay. I thought it might have been Eric just manifesting himself. No. You can't get it up. <laughs> always. What, you always can get it up? Or you always can't get it up? Can I ask you, Eric, did you used to speak to us in the doctor's surgery? Killed. Mm, interesting. We're warming up then. But are we? Did you kill people? Can I ask you Satan. What was that? Satan. Lawrence. Wasn't he one of the victims? I don't know, I'd have to check all of that. Anything you can give us, both of you, to let us know? So we can find out if you were communicating with us. 
Would you like us to leave or stay here? Well, we've got to go anyway. And they're not talking. No, exactly. Do you, do you want to go do that? Only time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you've got to pick up the doggy jacket. Yeah. And it's probably 40 minutes drive. Oh, yeah. You don't reckon it's a 40 minute drive? How I many said, oh, yeah. Anna. Anna. Who's oh, Anna? Is that? Hey? Oh, do you answering them? Yeah. The iPad said Anna. Well, as much as it's been fun here, we've got to go. Is there anything you'd like to say to us before we go? Ritual. No, I don't do rituals. Sin. Yep. Water. Mm hmm Who did some sin in the water? You did, Martha, didn't you? You added that stuff to the drink and the food, didn't you? You know, we... And just now to let everybody know that their paranormal does exist and that there is such a thing as a ghost. Can you help us to prove that? Could you do something before we go? If I could be nasty and ask you again, could you light up the K2 meter? Married. Who's married? Well, those two should have been married. Not to each uh -huh. other. Well, they were. What happened to me? Well, it depends who we're talking to. Just keep perfectly still there for a second, Claire. I sound controlling here, but I'm just asking. I wanted just to prove that that K2 meter is not doing anything by us. All the coppers are coming to get you now. Can you just make the K2 meter light up a little bit more? Tired. Are you tired? Well, now we got coppers out here. Can you hear them, Peter? No. Oh, it's not coming through there. Literally, my hands are full. Full? My hands, yeah. No, I'm not on. And then I got that on that one. Oh, okay. So I got two phones and a torch in one hand, an iPad and another. And I'm keeping still. <laughs> okay, well, you two. And we're going to just take a little bit of a walk around the cemetery before we leave. Is there anything you would like to say to us before we go? Axe, leave me alone. <laughs> oh, sorry, people. These words have huge significance. Portal. Yeah. Killed. Well, thank you for letting us know that. For letting us know that you are here with us. Is there anything more you'd like to say before we go? How? You know how. 
Can you say my names, um, Eric? It's in the database. Ceremony. No ceremonies. Martha, no can you rituals. Say it? What's that? My name. It's in the database. Can they say it? Yeah. All right, light up. Okay. Okay, for what? You're going to say my name or what I was going to ask, and that's light up the lights if you want us to go. They're here. Who's here? Well, look at that. It's not lighting up. Yeah. So you want us to stay. Light up if you want us to stay. Louder. I'm not saying loud. You should be able to hear us. Light up if you want us to stay. So you want us to go? Well, then I'll ask. Light it up if you want us to leave. Uh -huh. It's just oh, playing you're not games. Hey? It's just playing games. Okay, well, we'll say goodbye to you. Is that okay? It's now dropped seven degrees. Is it got dropped out there, but Damage. It's just 13 degrees now. It was 20 when we first got here. I say it's not. It's dropping where he is. No, I don't think so. Or whether it be moved if it's different somewhere else. No, it's just... Jim. Yeah, it's just getting colder. Yeah, well, it's starting to get cold now. We're starting to come into winter now. What was that? There was something like another voice there. I didn't hear anything. Well, Eric, can I just ask you or Martha, can you light that up one more time as far as you can? Or have we Hello. You out? Hello. And who are we talking to? Looks like they've given up now, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, All right Cookie, well, we're going to say goodbye. We're going to say goodbye because we're just going to put some stuff back in the car and walk around the gravesite for five minutes. So we're going to say goodbye to you both. Sean. And who's Sean? Can I ask you before we leave, if you can say or do something to let us know that you are with us? Are you talking about Sean from Paranormal Nightmares? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the boys would love to come and investigate. Mr. Eric Edgar Cook. Cookie. And that's what they used to call you, wasn't it? Cookie. Can I ask you, Eric, before I go, how many children did you have? Too many. Can you tell me, do you see Sally? And what about Anthony? Or Tony? 
Yeah. Don't. Dull. But didn't Tony, he did some fantastic things for Western Australia, didn't he? He's a son to be proud of, isn't he? Are you proud of your son and what he did? Okay, we're going to say goodbye to you both. If you're not going to speak to us anymore, we're going to say goodbye. around the country to ask anybody if they would like to speak to us. Is mm. there anybody else here in the cemetery that would like to say hello? Mum didn't pick up on that last word. What was it? Hang. Where are you? Yeah. Oh. Five. Oh. Okay, walk back. Okay, Eric, I'm coming back for five minutes. You've said hung. Five children is correct. Now you're going to have to talk to us or I'm going to go again. I hope you I'm said not walking hung. on a grave. Okay. I said I hope I'm not walking on a grave. Oh, yeah. Daughter. Okay, I've come back now. What are you going to say? Are you going to talk to us again for a minute? Okay, you just said hung and everything. Light up the K2 meter again for me, nice and bright. Or are you playing games? He's playing games. Yeah, because you said stuff and we went to walk off. He's teased. Yeah. Follow you. No, you're not going to follow us. Mm. So you were following us, were you? What else would you like to say? Definitely likes to taunt. Sin. Is there any <laughs> anybody else in this grave site that would like to say, See you later, Eric. See you, Martha. Is it lining up? I'm coming. No. Mm. Exactly what I said to you, Dad. I just walked into him. Oh. Or were you touched? You see that? What is that? Cobweb. Oh. Cobwebs in a cemetery. Well, I think it's cobweb. Where's it going? It's still there. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, I think so. Is it? Ah. <laughs> is it getting spooky in there? 
No, but that's weird. It's moving. Oh, that is weird. On. And it's going. I don't know if the camera's picking it up the whole time. It's moving. Pray. Did you hear? Is it gone? No, it's still there. What is going? Stressed. No, don't be stressed. Married. Can I ask? Yeah, we're Satanic. Married. No. Can I? That's gone. Oh, it's still there, but it moves with the torch. If it was a cobweb, why is it lit up all the way along? That's no, a cobweb, I think. Just weird, it's moving like it does. Maybe is the wind blowing? No. <laughs> There's obviously a spooky spider somewhere. I'm almost going cross eyed looking at it now. <laughs> oh, I keep passing wind. Do you have to do it on every video? I don't, though. That's the thing. It's only when I do ghosty things. Yeah, well, what? You, you're puffing out ghosts now. That's one long bloody cobweb if it is. Yeah. Well, before we go, is there anybody Sean. here that would like to speak to us? Sean for the second time. Well, Sean, obviously you're trying to make contact. Who are you, Sean? And where are you? Would you like to say something, Sean? I should look around at if you had the time and you could see if it was a great to Sean. Or what has Sean's got to do with Eric still? Very old grave, isn't it? Yeah, but it's got flowers. Oh. Doll. They died in 1901. When? 1901, I think. Oh, gee. Well, hopefully someone comes and puts flowers on things. Oh, we might as well go. I'll say goodbye to everybody and rest in peace. Thanks for chatting. Stay here or cross over. Or even yeah. better, go find a loved one and go and give them heaps and scare the bejeebas out of them. <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs>